assist us in transmission. Please assist us in transmission. Please assist us in transmission. Please assist us in transmission. Hello. My name is Jason. We're here at Magic Recording Eye Studios in Troy, New York, and we are going to show you how to make a tape loop. Okay, now, in order to make a tape loop, you have to have a sound to make the tape loop out of. So, today we're going to use the sound, which is a drum set. And a one, and a two, and a... Sounds like music. So, what we're going to do now is back up the tape, and we're going to find the beginning of the recording. There it is. It's right about there. And a one, and a two, and a... We're going to stop it. That's the playhead right there. Notice where the tape is in relation to the playhead. We're going to hit stop. We know that that's the beginning of the tape loop. We're going to remove... The tape, sort of very crudely marking with our thumb where it is, that's not precise. In fact, it could be the wrong spot. That's okay. We can always fix it later. I just took an editing board and a um, razor here, razor blade, uh, to make a cut. That sounds like a good place to cut. Now we've placed it on the editing block. We are now going to take our razor and we are going to make another cut. I now take the two ends of the tape and I place them back in the editing block, like so. Joining them back together. And now that little band of tape is in a little loop. We're almost ready to do it. One more thing we need. Some editing tape. Still available in the modern electronic age. You still can get editing tape. You can order it from Fostex, I believe. You want to make sure that whether you're using this editing gear or scissors and scotch tape, you want to make sure that you place the tape for your edit on the side of the tape opposite from the side that holds the recorded information. So what we're doing is this is the side that has the drums. This side is just the plastic backing. Now the side that has the sound Way, easy way you can tell which side has the sound is the side that's facing the playhead on the reel-to-reel -reel recorder right here. This is the playhead. All tape recorders have them. And it's the side that's facing up towards the playhead. That's the side that you don't want to cut. The side opposite is the back of that side, which is the black side. That's the side you want to make your cut. Now, I've got some really old editing tape here. In fact, I dare say we might be better off with scotch tape and scissors at this point. But let's see what happens. You're going to take this tape and I'm going to put it right on there. Watch this. So now we have our tape loop. Ta-da! It's a loop. And it's tape. And it's got sound on it. So we're going to put it in the machine and we're going to listen to our tape loop. Put it right back in the, in the track here. Let's hit play and see what happens. As you may notice, it's not exactly that rhythmic. There's a little bit of a skip where the edit is. But there's ways around it. You could spend a little more time and make a more accurate edit, the way that I did, but you just take a little longer and make sure you notice where the beat ends and where the next beat begins. Another way is to just accept it and play along with it and learn to play in a weird way so that it fits. I'm gonna get a guitar now and show you. See how I'm keeping up with the messy tempo? Regardless of the fact that the tempo is really off, you can adjust yourself to work with the tape loop just fine. Hello, this is Jason at Magic Recording Eye Studios, and today we're going to show you how to record a song entirely in two minutes. First of all, you're going to need some type of thing to record with. Now, it can be anything, li tr truly. Anything that records a signal will do. But in our case, we want to record a song that has a bunch of instruments, but we've only got one person to do it. So, right here, the cassette four track. They can be found used. You can get them from your friend. 
um, there's, they're available for uh, over $100, um, but if you can swing it, this is the best way to start. You take a regular old tape that you can get at any store, and you put it in the 4-track, and then you do whatever you have to do with the electronics here to tell it to record on track one. Now remember, you've only got four tracks to choose from. We're going to record on track one. So we're going to take 30 seconds and record four different instruments on our four tracks. Track one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty seconds. Thirteen, fourteen. Hear that? Fifteen, sixteen. That's what we just recorded. 1819. Now we're going to add an instrument to it while we listen to what we just recorded. Next track, drums. Track three, electronic organ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's a song. And now let's listen to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 seconds. 